Facebook is changing things again. We now have attribution settings replacing conversion window. Is this completely different? Is this something very, very new? Or we see some old things with a different name? Yes and no. Uh, some things are different, some things are old, some things are new, and I will explain exactly how it works, how you can change attribution settings, and why are those settings so important for your ads. I'm Christian Stoichusko from Pixel Your Site, and before I start, I have to ask you to do two very important things. Uh, subscribe to our channel and like this video. Okay, done? Ready? Let's go. So, attribution settings. What are they about? Uh, basically, it's a time during which conversion can be credited to your ads. So, uh, if I click on your ad and I buy the product that you promote with the ad, in that time, this is a conversion and it will be reported as a conversion for your ads. But, very important as well, Facebook will use that information to um, optimize campaign delivery. Now, uh, there are two types, click, um, views, uh, clicks and views. When you uh, set up your attribution settings using clicks, your um, client has to click on an ad first. If you use views as well, uh, the, the client doesn't have to click on an ad. So if they see an ad and then uh, without clicking on it and then they go to your website and they perform the desired action, for example, they buy the product that you promote with that ad, this is still a conversion. So uh, it's important to remember. Uh, we had this in the past, but uh, it was called uh, view through conversions. But Facebook removed that when they implemented all the changes related to uh, iOS 14.5 updates, privacy updates. Uh, but now we have it again. So uh, it was removed uh, in the beginning of 2021. And now I'm making this video in October 2021. Uh, it's back again. Uh, interestingly enough, there is another video on this channel about Google attribution settings and they have this uh, feature as well. So they started to report um, view through conversion as well. So Google is basically copying Facebook. And Facebook is doing this again. Uh, now, where do you have all of these settings when you create your ads? Let me show you. They are buried right here. So and this is your uh, ads manager. This is a new campaign. Go to ads settings scroll and right here it will by default it will be hidden show more options and you can select your attribution settings and you can select one day click seven day click one day click or view meaning uh, if i click now and i convert in the next 24 hours this is a conversion in i if i view your ad now without clicking and i convert in the next 24 hours hours this is again a conversion and seven day click or one day view uh, seven day click i click on an ad and in the next seven days i uh, perform the desired action obviously this is a conversion but i view your ad without clicking i perform the action in the next 24 hours this is also a conversion so this is a view conversion okay, um, default by default facebook will use seven day click or one day view so this is the default and uh, apparently it's very easy right nothing else uh, to worry about well yes and no because there are some things you should know for example uh, this is Facebook uh, official page about uh, attribution settings I will link in uh, linking link it in the video description and you can read it yourself I will just point you some um, key stuff okay and it's about um, something called conversion modeling is right here facebook tells us that for one day click they use 
conversion modeling, meaning they don't have data about conversion from a Facebook pixel or Facebook conversion API events. They use um, AI to guess that there is a conversion happening and they will uh, report that conversion. And also they will use that conversion, model conversion to optimize your ads delivery. They started to use a similar uh, thing for 7 and click attribution. So now they use it for one day click and seven day click. Uh, I think for all everybody else, this is this is how it works. Uh, they say they will gradually uh, expand this feature starting June 30. So uh, some time ago, I, I guess it's a universal right now. Uh, but they don't use it for views for one day view, uh, meaning that one day view will probably uh, under report conversions and it, it will uh, be somehow related to iOS 14.5 and uh, plus updates. Uh, so conversions happening just after a view will not be reported for um, iOS 14.5 users. Uh, that's because Facebook relies on a different system to track um, iOS 14.5 conversions. Uh, they are related to aggregated event measurement protocol, which is something between Facebook and Apple, um, where Apple sends Facebook anonymous data about conversion and they uh, use that anonymous data. It's a very limited way to track conversions and uh, Facebook is not very happy about it. So what we should know about uh, attribution settings, there are two types of conversions you can have uh, click conversions, meaning that user has to click on an ad first and view conversions, meaning that um, a simple ad view, I'm, I'm, I'm show the ad will be enough to uh, trigger a conversion if the conversion happens in the next 24 hours. They don't have a, a larger um, time frame for uh, view conversions, only one day. And that uh, some data about uh, ready to click conversions is not, uh, let's say, real or uh, tracked using using traditional methods like the Facebook Pixel or Facebook Conversion API. It's actually guessed by Facebook using uh, their hopefully very accurate AI. So this is how it works. Uh, it's not very very new. It's something that we had in the past with a different name. Uh, Conversion window was the name. Why Facebook is changing the names, I have no idea, but I guess they want to help us uh, YouTube publishers, giving us ideas for new videos. And if you have a channel about Facebook, uh, you will have ideas for new videos almost every day. Every um, day something new happens. I don't have time to make videos about um, all of them, but I try to do videos about the most important things that are changing. Uh, and I think attribution settings, it's quite important. So this is it. Again, like this video and subscribe to our channel.